I'm Sarah from Neil Cummings, so lovely to meet you. So The Good Liar, for people who aren't already familiar with the story, how do you give a brief synopsis of what this is all about? It's kind of difficult, isn't it? You ask any author to give a synopsis and they tell you the whole story, don't they? But no, it's, uh, it's basically about an, old, an elderly man who, um, who decides that he wants to pull a, a final con. He's an experienced con man and he, this is his final trick that he wishes to pull. Now, it's, it's slightly based on experience of a, an acquaintance of mine who went through a, a, a lady who went through a similar experience, um, not at all the same. But that gave me a a bit of knowledge that actually elderly dating uh, is quite a big thing these days online. And that and I love the setup, and that was my setup, and I just ran with the story from there. So the story tells that his his. Uh, putative finding of his, his ideal mark, taking it forward, and I think the question on the viewer's mind and on the reader's mind has to be, well, how much of a mark is Betty? And I think that forms the core of the thing. And the interplay between the two main characters is, for me, the key thing in the book, and it will be in the film as well. I'm sure it'll be one, the, the way Helen and Ian will play off each other is superb. Given it's the first time they've appeared on screen together, that's just such an amazing thing. Yeah. When you were writing the book, did you ever have it in mind that this might be made into a film? And then how did you feel when Bill Condon was obviously in the directing seat, but two screen greats like Helen Mirren and Ian McKellen taking up the room? Well, let me tell you, when I wrote the book, I didn't imagine it would make it out of the walls of my house. So to have it published in the first place was astonishing. And then to find it being made into a film, was another huge, huge step. And then only slightly later did I find that Bill was the director, Jeffrey was the scriptwriter, and Ian and Helen were, were the leads. And, you know, it's beyond my wildest dreams. It is, um, I'm sure it's not quite literally surreal, but it feels surreal to, to be here standing with you and talking about it. Yeah. And, you know, it does seem like a popular thing for screenwriters to do, to take novels and try and adapt them. What is that process like? And, can it be a bit challenging? You think, oh God, I had so much on those pages, which has been reduced to something much shorter. You'd have to ask Jeffrey how he does it, how he does his magic, because I thought it was unfilmable when I wrote it. I thought, I, I can't, as you do when you get something published, you kind of think, well, who could play the leads? And the, there are all kinds of actors who could play the leads brilliantly, and top of my list, uh, um, around the top of this were Ian and Helen. But um, I thought, well, the book spans 70 years, it basically tells the story backwards. Most of the twists are in the, the earlier years. So how could this be done without a huge, huge cast? Um, but um, Bill and Greg, the producer, showed me the script, and I was just absolutely dumbfounded. It's just marvelous. It's just brilliant the way they've done it. So, uh, so I'm just, um, and I'm so looking forward to seeing it on the screen tonight. That's the first time I've seen it, so that'd be great. And, you know, what do you think people will take away from it? Because like you say, it's, perhaps we don't see elderly characters, you know, and love and twists and turns, and it's something that's great to see. Yeah, well, I, I think that's right. And um, I, I think that, um, you know, people imagine elderly people to be past it, beyond it, and all that. And that's not at all true. And I think one of the things which didn't strike me at the time, in 2014 when I finished the book, was that um, Roy in particular is kind of, and you might say a man of his times, really, you know. <laughs> I mean, um, when I wrote the book, um, Donald Trump and Boris Johnson didn't exist. <laughs> well, they did, but they're not they're in the smaller part of one's consciousness. And now, 2019, this is coming out, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not putting, loading too much meaning into the film, but, you know, it's, he is a man of his times, I think, Roy. Yeah. It was timely. <laughs> Thanks.